Hi, I'm Don Dawson. This program is the first in a two-part series on electrocution hazards in construction environments. The series covers information on electrical hazards and electrocution, major types of electrocution hazards, power lines, GFCIs, power tools and extension cords, lockout, tagout and isolation, and employee training. Construction sites can contain a number of potential electrical hazards, so it's important to know what they are and how to protect yourself from them. OSHA defines four types of hazards that are associated with electricity and three types of injuries that result from them. Direct contact with electricity through a power source, cord, or transmission line is the most common type of electrical hazard and can occur in a number of ways. Fires are a common result of electrical problems. Most often they occur as a result of faulty electrical outlets and old or damaged wiring. Problems with power cords and extension cords, plugs, receptacles, and switches can also cause electrical fires. Explosions are another potential result of an electrical malfunction. An explosion can occur when electricity ignites an explosive mixture of material and air. This can range from a liquid such as gasoline to something as common as dust. Arc flash is one of the most intense forms of electrical hazards. It is the sudden release of electrical energy through the air when a high voltage gap exists and there is a breakdown between conductors. An arc flash gives off thermal radiation, heat, and bright intense light, both of which can cause burns. Temperatures as high as 35,000 degrees Fahrenheit have been recorded from some arc flashes. High voltage arcs can also produce significant pressure waves by rapidly heating the air and creating a blast. 